This causes a brief debate. Another student says the punishment is approved by the Quran. Then we reduced him to the lowest of the low. So if you do some of the rounds and you are reducing him to the lowest of the low, they're falling off. <laughs> لا لا لازم يكون أمير مسلمين ولا ما ليش المسلمين يقبوا ويكونوا حرب حتى ي يسلم كله ي يعمل. Does your Quran very hard to also in our heart hate what Allah subhanahu wa taala and please to Allah Allah what Allah subhanahu wa taala. She says this principle relates to living with non-Muslims. What this gives to Allah, especially when living with this country with that non-Muslim. And asks the worshipper to read out a verse from the Quran. We are free from you, and whatever you worship besides Allah, we are rejected you, and then fear between us and you, hostility and hatred, forever, until you believe in Allah alone. Uma Mira says it means Muslims must separate from non-Muslims. You understand? This country, this land, this is the population. To go be good, good friends, uh, give them all about our secret, you know. And understand, and you have to be friendly with them. That is not allowed. Because the Wala is only to Muslim, not to the Kafir. Uma Mira says she's learned this doctrine of separatism in Saudi Arabia, whose clerics preach a brand of Islam often called Wahhabism. Wahhabism is opposed to the diverse and tolerant traditions of classical Islam. The Saudi religious uh, scholars uh, adopt a very strict and radical um, interpretation of the status of a, a Muslim minority in a non-Muslim society. On another occasion, a group of non-Muslims is invited to sit down with the circle. The preacher promotes Islam to them, but talks politely about other religions too. And, uh, and the message, the Quran, came to confirm the truth in the previous scriptures. But as soon as the interfaith group leaves, the same preacher's tone changes completely. She now says Christian teachings are fine. And we feel nothing sometimes going past the church. We are looking in the sky and think, subhanAllah, what are these people doing in there? What they say with their tongues is so vile and disgusting. It's an abomination. Like the other preachers in the circle, she says she's teaching from the works of the Saudi scholars. In this case, Sheikh bin Baz, a former Grand Mufti of the kingdom. Let's all stay together like one big happy family and all be united as humanity. This is false, this does not work, this concept is a lie, it's fake and it's a farce. The Take the British citizenship. And you like it or not, for these people you are selling your religion for. It's a very serious thing. It's not allowed, allowed to give allegiance to other than Allah. And another preacher says Muslims shouldn't live in Britain at all. Is that is that limiting for Muslims that he should reside in the land of evil, the land of the the, 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 the land of the demons? A Muslim should immigrate to a Muslim country. And they're still selling the speeches of exactly the same preachers we identified last year.